Well, now we know why, but you're not allowed to talk about it. We know that the attack on the Christian school in Nashville was at least partly driven by the shooter's hatred of white people. An institutionalised ideology that now permeates academia, society and culture in general. The trans killer wrote about white privilege. Called the children she was planning to kill crackers. This hater rambled about kids wearing fancy khakis with blonde hair. Oh, you want to see the evidence? Sorry, I can't show it because they'd take down this video. Oh, you want to post it on Facebook? Sorry, that's not allowed either. Fox 17 News has confirmed the manifesto is authentic, but the police are still refusing to admit it's legitimate. Stephen Crowder made it clear that he decided to release the pages to try to avoid future mass shootings driven by anti-white hate ideology. Hey, this is the byproduct of the kind of ideology in which all of our children in public schools are being steeped. It can actually help people moving forward, avoid shootings like this. Oh no, we can't have that, can we? Now the narrative has immediately shifted. It's not the motivation of the shooter we should scrutinise, it's the motivation of Steven Crowder in releasing part of the manifesto. Not the fact that far-left extremists are being radicalised to kill children in America, but that a conservative talk show host made that fact public. They're treating the leak of the manifesto as the actual crime. A spokesperson for the parents suggested that both the law enforcement official who leaked the manifesto and Crowder himself were in humane vipers. You are a viper. You're a member of the law enforcement community. And you have released evidence that was gathered in our most vulnerable moment. How could you? Online shock jock. I would challenge him and anyone who amplifies them online. Just be a human. The New York Times is about to run a massive hit piece on Crowder, asserting he's exploiting the tragedy and hurting the parents. The same outlet that corrected law enforcement for misgendering the shooter with the wrong pronouns. This is the same legacy media that ran cover for far-left extremists literally defending the shooter. Occupying the Tennessee Capitol and honouring Audrey Hale by holding up seven fingers. To signify that along with the six dead, including three kids, the killer was one of the victims. Every death is a tragedy. Tragedy, y'all. Seven lives. I'd say there were seven victims. They didn't blame the shooter, no. They blamed the state government for being transphobic. I wonder if the parents of the victims of the Nashville shooting today would still have their children if these trans bills in Tennessee were never a thing. I'm not a parent, but if I were, I'd be real, real mad at the government. I'd be real, real mad at the government. They had public meltdowns in the style of that Norm Macdonald ISIS joke. We love trans people! Trans people belong here! We need trans people! We love trans people! Trans people belong here! We need trans people! We love trans people! Trans people belong here! We need trans people! We love trans people! Trans people belong here! Some reacted by threatening more violence against transphobes, while others were just really upset about those pronouns being disrespected. How did the shitlibs over on Reddit react to the manifesto leak? By once again insisting that Hale, poor girl, was the real victim. They're allowed to defend and glorify a literal mass shooter of children on social media. But if you post any of the excerpts out of a now public manifesto, they'll ban your account. This video is sponsored by Kamikoto Japanese Steel Knives. Look at that beauty. Use by Michelin star chefs around the world, knives are made with super high quality Japanese steel, using traditional techniques that date back over 800 years. This is the crappy knife I was using before, and this is the Kamikoto Japanese steel knife. Look at that, like a hot knife through butter. Faced with the Kamikoto, that carrot didn't stand a chance. That single bevel edge means Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge you just can't get with other knives. Kamikoto is truly the edge lord of the knife world. Wouldn't want to mess with that, would you? Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives come in this lavish, heavy-duty ash wood box, so they make a great gift too. Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19-step process, and you can tell just by looking at them that they're top, top quality. Go to kamikoto.com slash pjw and take advantage of their knife bundle discounts with free shipping as part of their Black Friday sale. And get this, if you use discount code pjw at check 
checkout. They'll give you an extra $50 discount on any purchase. That's massive. The best way you can support me is by supporting my sponsor. Now back to the video. Compare the Nashville shooting to the Buffalo supermarket shooting, which targeted black people. They had the shooter's manifesto out and public within days. And it was plastered everywhere as an ominous warning about the threat of white supremacy. Biden immediately labeled it domestic terrorism, a racially motivated hate crime. What happened here is simple and straightforward. Terrorism. Terrorism. Domestic terrorism. That the ideology of white supremacy has no place in America. And how did the Biden administration respond to the Nashville attack? No comment. Former Vice President Pence said that if the shooter who killed six people uh, in that Christian school in Tennessee was motiva motivated by a hatred towards Christians, that the crime should be categorized as a hate crime. I'm wondering what the president thinks of that kind of designation. It's not for us to decide. After the mass shooting, Binder sent her condolences to the trans community. Our hearts go out to uh, the, those, the trans community as they are under attack right now. Biden himself cracked a joke over the issue. Do you believe that Christians were targeted in I have no idea. Josh Foley believes they were. What are you saying to that? Well, I probably don't then. Probably don't. Oh, I'm good. No, I have no idea. It didn't fit the narrative, so it was brushed under the carpet. Mayor Freddie O'Connell has now launched an investigation into how the pages were leaked, as if that was the most pressing issue here. We already know how it leaked. A Nashville police detective, presumably sick of the cover-up, gave it to Crowder. He says the detective from Metro Police shared them with his source, and his investigative team then came here to Tennessee to verify them. They claim Crowder's release is selective and doesn't tell the whole story. That it's misleading, just to look at the anti-white hatred. All right, we'll release the whole thing then. Oh no, we can't do that. I mean, what else does it mention? Why Hale targeted a cathedral? As well as the anti-white stuff, is there more anti-Christian stuff in there too? News coverage of the manifesto leak ludicrously suggested that the attack might have been anti-gay. Because Hale used a slur in the manifesto beginning with the letter F. As well as derogatory words used towards kids, including a slur towards gay people. Yeah, I'm sure that the transgender shooter targeted a Christian school full of white kids with conservative parents because they them hated LGBT people. They claim it's conservatives pushing a narrative about the anti-white motivation. Nothing to do with the manifesto explicitly stating that very motivation then. The manifesto also mentions a quote, final videotape that Hale made right before the shooting. Will that ever see the light of day? Yeah, don't hold your breath. The shooter wrote that she could have been caught in 2021. By who? The FBI? Is that another reason why they're refusing to release the manifesto. Remember, the FBI said they were gonna release it after they'd combed through it, but then did a 180. Gee, I wonder why. The FBI has declared MAGA supporters the most serious domestic terror threat to the nation while actively concealing the motivations of a child murderer who went on a shooting spree after repeating radical leftist hate slogans. That's your narrative, and that's why they covered it up. And will continue to cover it up while actively targeting anyone who tries to tell the truth about it. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.